What's up, everybody? The Iceman here on the Iceman V2013 YouTube channel, the Jeffrey Rose YouTube channel. And yesterday I was watching some videos. Um, Heel Steven put one up, remembering Eddie Guerrero. And, and I was thinking to myself after I saw that video, um, wow, it's been it's been nine years since the uh, the untimely death of Eddie Guerrero. And for me, I remember watching Eddie back in the old WCW. Um, me and my girlfriend Peggy were were huge fans of Eddie Guerrero. Um, Eddie and Chris Jericho uh, back, um, you know, in the welterweight, not the welterweight, the cruiserweight. And uh, Eddie, Eddie was just fun to watch. Um, just his, his uh, personality, his persona um, coming from the Guerrero family, you know, certainly helped him out. But uh, even if there wasn't no history of, um, you know, other Guerreros, you know, in the world of professional wrestling, Eddie would have made it anyhow. He just, he just had that personality. Um, he did so many things. I love the lying, cheating, stealing act he put on. Um, I loved it when he um, bossed around his nephew Chavo, um, having Chavo do everything, have him kiss his ass and, and everything else within the ring. And he did a lot of things in WCW. But one of the things that he didn't get was the world title in WCW. And, you know, back then there was just so many huge stars. And it was in the day and the time when NWO really took center stage as far as WCW main events go. But by no means was Eddie Guerrero an undercard because anytime Eddie was in a match, no matter who it was against, he gave 100%. And you were entertained to the fullest extent while watching his matches. And it was just amazing how great he was. And then when he moved on to the, um, the WWE, um, things got even brighter for Eddie Guerrero. I loved it um, uh, when him and China were an item. Um, that was pretty cool back then. And then I even loved it when Eddie finally won the world title. And uh, most deservedly so. That is something that, um, you know, I know Eddie really cherished. Um, he worked hard. And, you know, a lot of people said, well, you know, he comes from the Guerrero family. Um, maybe that's why they gave him such a big push. Eddie didn't need um, to get a push just because he was a Guerrero. Eddie got his push because he worked his ass off in the ring and he entertained people every single night he was out there and he was just a fun guy to watch. He had all the tools. Um, he did everything in the ring. He was one of those guys that, you know, also was a high flyer in the ring. Um, we don't see a lot of that anymore in professional wrestling, but this was back in the day when, you know, like I said, the rosters were huge, and Eddie Guerrero was just totally just fun to watch. And after watching that video by Heel Steven yesterday, it just brought back so many memories, and it it makes you realize how much you really miss guys when they're gone. And um, I remember that morning when I woke up. And my nephew would call me and told me, did you hear about Eddie Guerrero? And I said, no, what happened? And they said they found him dead. And it's like, it totally shocked me. I mean, I was, I'll be honest with you. I was close to tears because it was just another, you know, great wrestler that died way before his time. And we all know the history of Eddie Guerrero. Um, you know, he got himself involved um, with the law, uh, with drugs and alcohol. But it seemed when he was on the path in the WWE, he was headed in the right direction. 
Um, but who knows? I mean, a lot of the things that he did in the past might have just caught up with him. But it caught up with him way too soon because Eddie didn't deserve to go at the time he did. And it's just, it's one of those things where when you're a big fan of somebody and all of a sudden they have an untimely death, it sort of hits you really hard. And uh, for me, it did. And then it was shortly thereafter, you know, the Chris Benoit story, as we all know about that. But I thought it was great when both Chris and Eddie held titles. I remember that WrestleMania so well, and uh, it was just like, it was it was a great feeling for me because these were two WCW guys as well as ECW guys, but uh, more importantly for me because I, I was a big WCW fan back in the days, and it was nice to see two guys from WCW emerge to the top of the mountain in the WWE, and both were, you know, well-deserving. But um, then surely after the death of, of Eddie, I mean, Vicky Guerrero, um, you know, pretty much was with the WWE until just last year, or actually this year. Um, and, I, and I praise the WWE for really taking care of the Guerrero family the way they did and, you know, trying to keep Eddie's legacy alive. And um, more importantly, he, to me, was one of the best wrestlers there ever were. And that's really saying a lot. And, you know, maybe a lot of people will disagree with me, but to watch Eddie Guerrero in the ring, you never knew what to expect. Um, but he did give 110%. And like I said, the day he passed, it put a, a big hole in my chest. And it really just made me ask the question, what the heck is going on here? You know, there's been so many untimely, uh, premature deaths in the world of professional wrestling. And we know what most of it's all about. It's either with the, you know, the use of steroids or prescription drugs or drugs in general and alcohol, the mixture of them both. But I really do believe that A was on the right path. And I think if it wasn't for the WWE, um, who knows um, how much sooner Eddie could have left us all. So anyway, I wanted to bring that up because um, it really touched me to watch Heel Stevens' video. And it reminded me uh, how precious life can be. And, you know, just the loss of a great, 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 person and a superstar in the world of professional wrestling he made a mark on professional wrestling he's a man that will never be forgotten so we miss you eddie rest in peace i um, hope you're looking down upon the wrestling world and you know you know you were one of the very best in the world of professional wrestling that ever lived have a great friday everybody this is the Iceman.